Okay, I think we are more or less all in. And uh, everyone, welcome. Great to see you all online today. We have two presenters online today. I am Tommy Viper and been working with Kameva Water Jets more than 15 years in various roles. Later, my colleague Gunde Norbegård will take us into detailed features and functionalities part. At first, we look a bit into our water jet portfolio and what this product release is about. At the end, we will have a QA and a session in case timeline is allowing. Please file your questions via the Zoom toolbar. Please notice we have a hard close after 30 minutes, so all questions may potentially not be answered within available timeline. There will be also a chance to give feedback and contact us by replying via email, which we will send later on to each participant. The session will be also recorded and available after a few days of time. First, let's take one step backwards from control systems. The essential starting point what are the propulsion portfolio by Kongsberg Maritime? These products are, brand, are branded as Kameva water jets and portfolio consists of steel and aluminum series. The steel series is offering a very wide utilization possibilities to nearly all types of applications. Science ranges are from 25 centimeter to 125 centimeter on forest side of the impeller and input powers up to 27,000 kilowatts. These translate to vessel sizes between around 10 to 130 meter, looking at overall length. Steel area water jets include pump unit made fully out of stainless steel material. This is essential difference to be recognized in comparison to fully or partially aluminum products. The material selection combined to advance the design enables meeting tightest operational requirements for mission critical applications. The steel area is based on so-called mixed flow technology and provide best propulsive efficiency in combination to best durability. These translate always to lowest cost of operations and ownership during vessel lifetime. This means benefits both in fuel and maintenance parts. And this is really essential area to take into account and, and recognize at the pre-selection stages. Looking at the, at the other part, the aluminum series is ranging between 22 to 67 centimeter and translates up to around 30 meter in vessel sizes. This range is based on axial flow technology and very good alternative for smaller applications with lower annual running hours and speed areas below 40 knots. Overall, the aluminum series offer excellent performance in compact size and lightweight. Going then back to the key topic of the day, operation made easy. This is all what the system is about. Making the earlier mentioned water jet series operations easy, safe, and even more digital with new functions and features. This is a real game changer and leap into the Kongsberg series of control products after joining the company two years ago. First, an overview of the new jet control system. This is offering two alternative baselines depending on application demands, a compact and extended versions. JCS Compact is an alternative light solution instead of traditional manual hydraulic systems for smaller boats. JCS Extended, in turn, is a very versatile full scope system meeting demanding applications and interfacing requirements. These pictures here illustrate the potential uh, vessel types where these systems could be potentially utilized, just as a reference. A few details about the compact version at first. 
what this is about. This ver version offers one or two control stations and includes up to two water jet propulsion units without engine and gearbox interface. The key product features offer simplicity and reliability and translate, to, for example, very compact design uh, in ready plug-in assembly and being also factory tested and pre-calibrated with the water jet units before shipments. Also being a fully electrical, there are no traditionally recognized risks and challenges related to mechanical cables or nozzle synchronizations. A high contrast adjustable display is always included with excellent reading both in bright sunlight as well night operations. Also, an patented cylinder park mode is included as standard. Interceptor controls are available as well autopilot interface and a selection of various steering devices. Proper alarm lists are also available via the screen, as well as simple settings and calibration menus, making the operations very simple and easy. And hydraulic steering wheel instead of electric can be also used in case specifically desired. As well, a second control station is possible to be included. The JCS Compact is easy to install and commission due to its compact size and simple plug-in assembly. Seamless system startup can be done by shipyard according to instructions provided. Basically meaning first installing system components and cables, then connect and add power supplies, then running automatic calibration and tuning, and that's about it, more or less. No engine or clutch interface is included, being simple, easy, and redundant system. And now over to my colleague, Nurber, Kunder Norbigod. Welcome. Thank you, Tommy. And welcome also from my side. My name is uh, Gunder Norbgård and I'm technical product manager for control systems in Kongsberg Maritime water jets. Let's look into JCS extended system. Uh, this uh, JCS extended can include one to three control stations and uh, operate from uh, one up to four water jets units. The complete system is built with respect to signal and power redundancy. Compared to earlier control systems, the following key features are auto positioning and anchor point for ease of position keeping, auto heading and interceptor steering, and trim assist for when commuting, park mode for when docking and uh, remote service access readiness. The JCS extended is factory tested and pre-calibrated together with the water jet unit in all uh, a compact design with plug-in assembly. So uh, let's look at the bridge devices. There is total is a total new design in size and ergonomy. For main part of the devices, there is a standardized base plate and, and cutout dimension in all much more compact and earlier control system. There's a seven inch display with integrated push buttons and touch uh, full picture of water jets indication up to four water jets and short steps to any function the different uh, steering devices to choose from you have the steering knob ste regular steering wheel and uh, a steering tiller engine thrust and reversing bucket operation is done with the twin lever and in case boost the water jet I boost the lever on the side also, a single lever is available for single water jet applications. For operation in low speeds, an optional three axis joystick is available. Together with these devices, there are keypads for critical functions such as command transfer and clutch operation. 
all devices have built-in illumination. Either set a bell set table via the keypad or automatically adjusted by the automatic dimming function. All devices have dedicated plug-in connectors for easy installation. Device size and cable design are shaped for in-chair armrest installations. Uh, now let's look into a few interesting functions. Uh, when maintaining position, the control system provides a simple anchor point function that can be activated when directly with the display push button. Uh, when activated, the dedicated screen automatically appears. This function not requiring an optional joystick catches an imaginary pre-selected distance directly ahead of the craft and falls in with the wind while keeping the desired distance and heading towards the position. The distance to the position can here be adjusted by using the display push buttons. When more accuracy is required, the auto positioning function with auto heading can be activated using the three axis joystick and keypad. The function integrates easy interactive operation on the touch screen, providing position shifting and adjustment of heading. Position deviation is indicated and uh, responsiveness of the function can be adjusted directly by push buttons on the right hand. For safety, the function of override can be activated with a simple movement of the joystick or steering device, whereas the command falls directly back to the operator. Then uh, during high-speed commuting, there are a set of new nice functions available. Here, the auto-heading function can be activated for keeping the desired straight course and with this, an external autopilot is not always necessary to be activated. When preparing to turn, the heading can be changed directly using the touch display, adjusting the course precisely while on the way to the destination. The auto heading integrates with a selectable momentary override function. When in auto heading and the operator manually operates the steering device, the operation is provided directly back at the helm for changing the course. Then when taking the craft back in new straight ahead course, the auto heading function will in this way automatically fall back into operation within seconds after the new stable course has been locked. When the water jets units are equipped with Kongs per integrated interceptors, there are two additional interesting functions. With the interceptor steering function activated, only the interceptors are required for steering the craft in high speed providing accurate steering while keeping the speed. The trim assist function uses the interceptors to keep the craft level both during acceleration and deceleration. With trim assist, it clearly reduces acceleration time to reach planning. Activating all these new functions together completes in a smooth and stable ride and provides additional benefits for fuel saving. JCS extender is also available with a set of options of interest, such as um, built-in remote access solution, offering Kongs by remote access service for maintenance and updates, readiness for interfacing in unmanned applications, adding external autopilot or DP. Now over to you, Tommy. Thank you, Gunder. Great. Sounds really fascinating, right? So let's take a short summary what this platform is offering. We, we heard a lot of interesting items. However, uh, summary is always a good thing. With the compact version, this is an electrical alternative for smaller applications. Uh, this enable replace unreliable, less comfortable, and less responsive mechanical cables. The compact variant is also uh, offering better accuracy and safety for smaller vessels without need for most sophisticated solutions. 
Example, this means naval interceptor crafts and, and smaller patrol and workboats. Looking at the extended version, uh, it's a versatile platform meeting many future needs already today. For example, there are two versions for station keeping. There's the simple anchor point and more advanced outer positioning. The advantages of the anchor point feature are it's a light version and works also without joystick. It's simply taking a virtual position, providing simple way of keeping position and heading to wind, even with one engine. This is saving fuel, resource and improves safety at sea with good adjustability during operations. This is really good tool when more approximate position and heading to wind is good enough. The advantages of more advanced auto positioning function are linked to providing more accurate positioning and heading with easy adjustability when necessary. For example, the response rate is adjustable, helping to cope with varying weather conditions. In addition to this, we learned some about auto heading function, which is offering as main advantage potential elimination of separate autopilot on board. And overall, this enables simply keeping heading and adjust during transit periods. Simply in one compact package. The patented park mode is helping owners and operators to protect the water jets while not being operated. This is another true simple innovation on the market. The system is also hybrid ready as well ready for external remote control applications. And for maintenance, servicing and troubleshooting, this product line is a true game changer while offering simple remote access interface. And this is a simple feature to support each vessel remotely in case it's necessary. This is truly raising the service availability to new levels wherever the vessels are located. On top of this, there's also an auto dimming function for screens and panels, which is further making operations easier and more comfortable. This just to mention few out of many more. For, for more details, please contact your nearest Kongsberg Maritime office or us directly. Being time conscious, now to the Q&A session. Hoping you have filed in plenty of interesting, good questions. So let's take a look. You can find the QA function from the Zoom toolbar. So let's, let's see if there are some questions coming in. So far, we are not seeing any, but uh, please feel free to file in some, and we can try to answer these uh, here right now. While waiting, uh, please notice uh, you will also receive later on an email from Kongsberg Maritime, including link to recorded session, an event survey where you have a chance to give some direct feedback. This email will contain also some possibility to sign up for Kongsberg Maritime newsletters. Okay, now I see there are some questions coming in. Uh, Alexandre Gomez is um, asking a question um, around uh, when breaking the vessel, how is the ratio of lowering the bucket or reducing the flow? Basically, um, uh, this depends, of course, how, how much turning the levers. So it's up to the captain to decide uh, uh, while moving the lever backwards, 
uh, first you lower the RPM and, and uh, uh, then you start lowering the buckets and, uh, and further on uh, when moving the, the lever unit, for example, uh, the RPM starts further increasing again. So um, it's, it's fully, fully up to the captain. Also, there is uh, plenty of parameters in systems, so it can be tuned during the commissioning. For example, that's how, how this works, how aggressive it is, and, and, and so on. Also, uh, we see a, a question coming in from, from Steven Xu about auto positioning. Can this be used without both thrusters? So, uh, Gunder, uh, could you please answer this one? Yes, yeah, we can use without both thrusters. Or, or also, it uh, depends much on, on the whole size, of course, if, it's, it, if it would be a benefit to use both thrusters or not. But it will work without. Yes, thank you. Then I see uh, there is a question from Robert Lange. Uh, looking at the compact version, uh, he said that there is no interface to clutch an engine. Uh, but uh, the question is that uh, is there a lever giving RPM set point to the engine? Gunnar, uh, would you like to take this one? Yeah, so in the compact version, the, the lever only reacts or, or operates the reversing bucket. So the, the engine lever has to be uh, used in parallel, so to say. So comparing this to the extended version, all uh, bucket movement and RPM is integrated in one lever. So that's, of course, a benefit. Thank you. Plenty of questions coming in. Um, there's a question from uh, Fabrizio Kettmeier. Uh, do you use any type of uh, field bus or just old fashioned hardwired connections in the extended JCS? Maybe you can go there, please uh, continue with this as well. Yeah, we we use a uh, internal communication system for this, so it's it's not field bus, but it it's it's another type of of. Uh, but I mean, both in compact and extended actually uses the same same type of communication. So this is also a, a benefit for for uh, supervising communication between all units between the bridge and the jets. Yes, thank you. Also, uh, we see another question from Alexander Gomez. Uh, is there a minimum RPM to be kept? Um, basically, no. Um, of course, the en engines have a certain minimum nominal idle RPM. So that's, of course, the minimum. Um, so so uh, the, the control system does not uh, relate to the minimum levels in that respect. This comes uh, from the engine side requirements. Um, I think we still have some, some time left. So uh, we have a question also from uh, Stephen. Uh, what is the normal accuracy of outer positioning and anchor point? Maybe. Gunnar has data about these, these features. Uh, of course, it's a quite a wide question and depend on many areas, but maybe, maybe yeah. Gunnar, if you have any. Yes, yes. So the accuracy is totally depending on the size of the craft and the weather conditions and, and uh, weights and, and the volumes, so to say. So in, in, um, in low winds, low currents, the, the um, accuracy is very good. I mean, we stay there for sure within the one to two meter. 
but in wins higher of course it will be a struggle to keep the position but it will never give up so to say so it goes always back to thrives to go back to the position but all is of course depending on the type of hull and and uh, yeah ship yes thank you uh can you continue also on the on the screen sizes uh, we, we heard earlier that the compact screen and about the the um, seven inch screen for the extended variant um, uh, example 20 inch i see this is linking uh, probably the possibility to um, connect via vdr interfaces uh, to the to the external screens uh, any comments on this Gunder? No, well, the, these screens are designed for, for this and actually we have, have a, a lot of requirements that they should not be too big screens. So that's why we use small screens for the compact version and the seven inch has been um, yeah, verified to be sufficient for even up to four water jets indication. So, so even the, the screen is seven inch, the frame of the display is of course a bit bigger, but it, it's quite small and also following a bit uh, in line with the control system we have had in earlier versions. Thank you. Great. Um, also, um, uh, still have time for, for uh, I think we have one question, time for that. Um, but main market for water jet out of post uh, from Alexander Gomez. Uh, crew transfer, ferries, rescue boats. I would say all of this, it really has um, wide possibilities for utilization. Uh, it, for small uh, rescue vessels, it's very handy. Also pleasure crafts uh, helping helping to stop and, and, uh, and do various things with reduced risks. Uh, also for various work applications. So there is really, really wide opportunities uh, for any type of crafts. Uh, and this is also uh, one of the reasons why we have several alternatives here available uh, around this option. Uh, so so uh, from simple, more, more uh, advanced and that and, uh, fit any applications requiring uh, these this features. So uh, now, now these are all, all available in, in even uh, better versions than they have been earlier on in our various control systems. So uh, I said uh, true game changers in that respect. So thank you. I think um, uh, being time conscious, uh, we will, we will uh, need to drop out. Uh, I see some questions we did not manage to answer right now, but uh, we will we will revert separately via email to the to the questions which uh, remain open. Um, thank you very much for your attention and have a good day.